Although you might like owning dozens and dozens of fishing rods and upgrading to more sensitive blanks and technique specific rods, at the end of the day, if you break it down, you really only need five. And these five are gonna allow you to fish around 28 different techniques and lures. With these five rods, you're gonna be able to fish your weightless worms, your drop shots, your neds, your bladed jigs, your spinners, your smaller swim baits, your buzz baits, all types of frogs and spoons, jigs, your umbrella rigs, glide baits, big, small, your topwater lures, small cranks, your jerk baits, your shaky heads, and more. So let me walk you through these five fishing rods and how I fish them. First, let me start off with the only spinning rod that I carry with me. This is gonna be the Impulse Energy Series seven foot medium power fast action spinning rod. It's pretty light too. This rod weighs in at 4.4 ounces. And when you throw it all day, that weight matters. It's really a great multi-purpose rod. I run eight pounds Seaguar and Vizex line on it, straight fluorocarbon. And I primarily will have hooked up to this a wacky worm, a weightless worm. Sometimes I will switch this over to a drop shot rig. I do, really don't like using eight pound line for drop shot, usually like six pound. But in a pinch, I will use eight pound. So drop shot, wacky worm, this rod. So the next rod I have for you, this guy is my most versatile rod. This is the Impulse Original Series 7.3 medium heavy fast action rod. So although this is longer than my spinning rod, it actually comes in at a lighter weight. This guy is 3.7 ounces. And I will use this rod for a variety of different techniques. So you can throw buzz baits, you can throw net rigs, you can throw your bladed jigs, which is a lot of times what I have hooked up on this rod. You can throw your spinner baits, you can throw a Texas rig on this guy, really great for that. You can throw smaller swim baits on this guy. It's really great for three quarter ounce, all the way up to two ounces. You can throw wacky rigs on this if you want to, even though I use my spinning rod primarily for that. You can put a shaky head on this bad boy and do some damage. And you can do a variety of different weightless worms. This guy is going to be your most versatile rod out of the five I'm going to share with you. Most of the time, I'm gonna have around 15 pound fluorocarbon on this, specifically because I have a bladed jig that I fish on it the majority of the time. Once again, I use Seaguar and Vizex line with this guy and it works fantastic. I believe that fluorocarbon is gonna be your best option with when fishing that bladed jig. It's gonna be clear coming through the water. Any of those line shy bass are not gonna be able to see it very well and you're gonna get those strikes. So that line strength and the power of this rod is gonna give you enough strength to kind of pull and tame those big fish that are sitting down there after you jack their jaw out of that heavy cover. So the rod I'm gonna share with you next is one of my favorites because I fell in love with jig fishing this past season. Caught some of my largest fish on it. This is a 7.4 extra fast, extra heavy casting rod. Mm. So as you can imagine, this guy has the strongest backbone in my arsenal of five. So what I use this for is flipping jigs, pitching jigs, casting jigs into heavy cover. So this rod could be used for fishing spoons, but I'll typically will pair it with my assortment of jigs that I love to fish. So right now I love the Kitech jigs. They're a little bit expensive and I'm slowly being won over by Beast Coast fishing jigs. You can check them out. But usually when it comes to jigs and trailers, I don't think a whole lot about it. I usually just throw on a KVD rodent or this guy, the Missile Baits D-Bomb. But this past few months, I've been pouring my own baits and so, Look forward to trying these out this upcoming season. So when I'm fishing these jigs on this particular rod, I'm using in between 15 to 20 pound line. Once again, Seaguar and Vizex straight fluorocarbon. That's typically when I'm fishing open water. If I'm fishing heavy cover, I'm going to put braid on this, I'm typically running 50 to 60 pound braid. This is also the rod you can frog fish on. If you love frog fishing, this is gonna be a really great rod to pull those fish up and out of cover fast because it does have such a strong backbone. So with this rod, you're gonna be able to fish a variety of different lures. You're gonna be be able to fish your casting jigs, your swim jigs, your football head jigs. You're not gonna be able to fish your finesse jigs, way too light for this rod. Flipping jigs, your grass jigs, all of which you're gonna be able to fish with a seven foot, four inch, extra heavy, extra fast, casting rod. Right, the next rod in my arsenal is, this is gonna be my longest and my heaviest. It weighs 5.4 ounces and is seven foot, nine inches long. And this is gonna be the rod that I hook a lot of my heaviest stuff up on. So this rod is gonna be really great for fishing your Carolina rigs, your deep diving crankbaits, big football jigs, your big spoons, your swim baits that range in weight from three quarter of an ounce to up to five ounces, your umbrella rigs, and your glide baits up to five ounces as well. These are all gonna perform really well in this heavy power 
more moderate action rod. I really love fishing the mag draft, and so with that said, I'm typically gonna have this hooked up with Seaguar and Vizek 17 pound straight fluorocarbon line. But next, I have the shortest rod in my arsenal. This is going to be my top water rod. It comes in at six feet, eight inches, and I'm gonna be throwing just about all types of top water with this guy right here. So this is gonna be really great for shallow crank baits, your small jerk baits. So since I'm usually pairing this rod with some type of popper, right, I want to stay on top of the water, right I'm not gonna to wanna to pair it with fluorocarbon, which sinks. No so I'm gonna usually here. have between 17 pound mono or between uh, around 30 pound braid for my top water rod. So there you have it, over 28 different lure types that you can fish with just five bass fishing rods. And don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on you if you wanna collect them all. I have like 20 rods sitting behind me downstairs everywhere. But if you're on a budget and wanna get the most bang for your buck, these are the five rods that I would recommend. So if you're watching this video, you might be in the market for a new rod. I love impulse rods. As you can see, the last five I shared with you are all impulse and I'm a big fan of it. I'm not exclusive to them, but I do work with them. And so if you're interested in a really great rod, head down to my description data and there's some discount codes down there for you. And you may be thinking to yourself, why in the world would I upgrade to a really expensive rod, right? What's the difference between a $50 rod, that ugly stick from Walmart, and a $250 rod? Well, I got the video for you the difference between the $50 rod and the $250 rod. And you check that video out right there, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.